Shriners Hospital for Children, Twin Cities. We are one of 22 hospitals. We've been here since 1923. We see a variety of children with orthopedic conditions. Families come here because our physicians are experts in their field. We work very collaboratively as a multidisciplinary team to wrap their care around so that everything happens when they're here. They get their physician visit, nurse, therapist, x-ray, rehab, orthotics and prosthetics if they need it. The whole child gets treated all at one time and um, we develop a plan with the families so everybody's on the same page when they leave here. There's no surprises for the family or for the team. We began coming to Shriners Hospital when Macy was young. We chose to, re to get her care here because of their personal approach. You're not lost in a big hospital setting and that's really important to us. One of the unique things of the Shriners Hospital, besides the expertise offered here, is the ability to provide care regardless of a family's ability to pay. There's been times where, like, our insurance hasn't always covered things, or we haven't had insurance, and we haven't had to have that stress of how is her, her care going to be covered, um, and we've never had to worry about for getting that at Shriners Hospital for Children. Orthopedic conditions are chronic in nature and last throughout a person's lifetime. We have the opportunity to establish long-term relationships with our patients. Macy is a good example of one of those long-term relationships. Macy was born with a severe abnormality to her right leg. She was missing a bone in the right leg called fibular hemimelia and had a significantly deformed right foot at birth. I happened to meet Macy when she was here in the hospital for one of her um, appointments and she was around when we were holding our camp uh, for kids with limb deficiencies and that day we invited her to just join in and to see what goes on at our camp because we knew she was maybe facing that decision. Macy eventually required an amputation of her right leg and we followed her here in limb deficiency clinic for quite some time. After you went to camp with kids who had prosthetic legs and stuff, did you how did that make you feel? I felt like I could be able to do more things like a normal kid could do. Dance, I like to swim. I like to do karate, doing yoga. And I also like doing snowboarding. Now, the newest thing that we are treating for is scoliosis. It's simply defined as more than 10 degrees of a curve on a spine x-ray. Given her young age, However, we are concerned that the curve may progress and our next step would be to discuss the use of a brace to help control the curve as she grows. On average, children will need upwards of 20 or more x-rays during growth to monitor for the progression of scoliosis. There's definitely a concern of the radiation exposure as a child who has to have this done so often. Um, and what that can hold for her future with the risks. We are working on a system that produces a lot less radiation for children. Since we see so many scoliosis patients here, um, we certainly understand that there is a, a risk with repeated x-rays for children. And whatever we can do to make that risk smaller is what we need to do. Well, EOS machine is very valuable for children that have multiple need for uh, imaging. Uh, we can do uh, imaging of their whole body, of their legs, their spine, without a lot of radiation. It's about 90% less radiation. And it makes a difference in children when they have uh, surgeries, they have, they're always in and out of x-ray. Come on in here, we're gonna take two pictures of your spine. Macy has, received, has had many x-rays over the years, many x-rays. Typically, she will see her limb doctor every six months, and every six months, she does have x-rays. Now, with the new diagnosis of scoliosis, this will probably be going on for several more years to come. Good, and you're all done. Good job. You know, we're usually following this about every four months or so with x-rays, and that does stack up to a lot of x-rays over time. 
Uh, and that is a very valid concern. But definitely needed for we need to follow. treatment plan yeah. and care. You doing okay? Yeah. Okay, I know. <laughs> so Everyone's happy about it. Lisa Morris, <laughs> I know. Primary benefits for us are that it's fast. Uh, oftentimes we're pretty busy in clinic. And if we can get these uh, full body length uh, images quicker, it makes it easier for everyone. It exposes the child to much less radiation than we have traditionally, and allows us to see the three dimensions rather than just our traditional two. Well, the 3D point of view can be very, very valuable, especially if you're analyzing uh, certain parameters of the hip versus knee axis. Also, uh, a 3D view of the spine is, is very important. The opportunity for Shiner's Hospital for Children to have a EOS machine here would be completely amazing. For the simple fact that, personally, for our family, my daughter not only has x-rays on her limb, but also on her spine, which is a lot of x-rays over time and a lot of radiation exposure. This is a concern of ours in, for her future. Here at the Shriners Hospital for Children in the Twin Cities, we probably take somewhere around 20,000 x-rays a year. <laughs> what the EO system provides us is reducing that amount of radiation exposure anywhere between 50% and 90% which as a parent couldn't be more of a relief for me. And that's significant. I love Shiner's Hospital for Children.